Welcome back to Metroid Fusion. It's yeah. time to get all the items in the game. We're starting off with a complicated shine spark. Oh, good. Gotta go through that and then duck down, shoot down here to blow that guy up, and then kind of go here to get so you can get it back. Drop down here, don't get on the ladder up here, and then up here. You gotta be kidding me. There you go. All of that for a whole lot. Okay. All that for a power bomb. <laughs> I was just thinking you did that for nothing. Starting off going crazy, and that's and the next one's just as difficult. Check this one out. Go I'm back over here. The exact same thing we just did. Go again. Here we go. Build up speed. Off to adventure. Going, going. going. Do this right. Off. Gotta jump up here, just like that. Up here, and then shoot. I think I lost uh, it. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, I yes, lost you it. Did. So, I'm awaiting the day that the devs actually put in a complicated shine spark for nothing. Just a mess with some speedrunners and or casual players. Well, with that secret message, I think they're at least somewhat aware that players will go to those lengths. Oh, definitely. Ah, uh, hello? Dad didn't, <laughs> dad didn't do it right. Well, there's also a few tricks in, uh, in Dread now that, you know, used some glitches. But, uh, they kept in a few. They didn't get rid of all the glitches. Oh, damn it! This one's really hard, I'm sorry. I really like it when devs pay attention to what gamers are doing with their games. Well, that's the reason why, uh, Metroid still has the community it has. It's because people talk about it, they, they, keep, they keep playing it, they find new routes, they, they keep the spirit alive! Right, here we go. Go all the way over here, mm -hmm. go into this part here where the Chosen Warrior was, jump up, and then there you go, the knee tank! Oh, cool! Woo! Four E-Tanks left. Or left. I love how you ducked out of the way of the explosion. You don't hit me! It just feels right to be rolling when it goes off. I don't know. There's something about it fills me with the lust for power. There's a lot of things in Fusion that just feel right. Metroid feels right, man. Metroid 4, Metroid Fusion. Feels right. Serotonin injection, Metroid, Metroid. Directly into my brainstem, Metroid. <laughs> Another high speed here, I think. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, shoot. Oh, you getting it? Hit. Okay, we didn't need it there. Oh, I thought <laughs> that you're like, nah, we're not gonna get it. We will, we will later, but not here. Just a. Uh, Missile tank down here, you need the various suit and uh, ideally the gravity suit. So when you have the gravity suit, you can get this one up here. Which one? Oh, that one, okay. It's kind of weird that a Metroid Dread fire hurt, fire can hurt you, but lava can't. Yeah. That is weird. Sorry, I'm just recollecting when I played through Dread. Wow. I never pieced that together. <laughs> well, I also like that it had um, extreme cold areas. In yes. The game. Just like Fusion. Hey, uh -huh. There we go. Yeah, this is where the game opens up because now to get to everywhere you need to go, you need the screw attack. And the screw attack is what opens up these hidden passageways that take you from sector to sector. Oh. This one takes us from one to two. I never would have known about that. I certainly didn't. I never needed them in my main playthrough, but now I'm going 100%. They're actually kind of useful. And really, they're used mainly for people going for the lesser times. These these times are ridiculous. I think there's one for, like, beating the game under two hours. That sounds about right. And 100%. Under two? Under two hours. Okay, that's impressive. Under three hours, that, that, that'd be, like, manageable, but under two hours, that's... that's... That's really difficult. That's essentially running everywhere. Speed through text. Yeah, text is a speedrunner's worst nightmare. <laughs> that is that doesn't count the timer though. Oh, it doesn't. No, it's, it's just it's when, as you're playing the game. When you are in control of Samus, okay. like like right now we, we you know the time's going. When we're in the navigation room, when the text comes up, we're not. When we're pause, okay. the, pause the game, doesn't count. When we're going down into the save room... <laughs> no, 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 no! Uh, this is one of these. One of these ah, ones. This, this is not my proudest moment. I apologize for the following. <laughs> You're gonna unleash every single block just to see where you can mess up? This is just gonna be not, not good for me. So it's... 
one of these where you gotta, you know, do, do the space jumps and, uh, you know, avoid those, otherwise you'll, you'll fall down, and I just... Da, 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 da. This will happen a while. Yes, indeed. Uh, now you've started, no! you do it every single time I mess up. Okay. Wait, wait! Uh, salvage it, don't. salvage it, salvage uh, it! Fuck. Wah, wah, wah. Will you cut that out? Shit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're <God, God>, <laughs> oh, Moments like these, I'm glad there is, um... I'm glad there's certain things that don't go through the cutting room floor. <laughs> because this is really funny. I knew you get a kick out of it. I could totally see myself doing the exact same thing. That's why it's funny to me. See, it's the it's, it's point. This is like a no, human no, playing no, this. No, 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 I was there. Oh, no. Oh, I was right there. I just had to get the one jump right. It's oh, like a little spray joke. To a joke right there. <laughs> you I fool. Everything else I'm doing all right on. You I just, fool. I think I maybe I can drop down, but nope, it doesn't work that way apparently. But I can certainly, you know, get myself well, locked that in that cheese. way. That was cheese. So I got that at least. Wait, looking up is cheese. I can't like go that way. Oh God. So I have so to. So you have to go back. I have to you go gotta back. go back. They counted on that. They knew it. They thought of everything. God damn these game designers and their good game design. Come on, game designers, get it together. Get it together. But only <laughs> only use it when I'm winning. <laughs> No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> it's it's just that one corner. I just can't get the wait, maybe I need to like just go like go faster like hey what 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 <laughs> Fuck! Samus, that was inappropriate. I hope you're ready for ramifications for that. <laughs> no, I could just see it. She gets to this point, she's like, Okay, one more power bomb," And you just see a montage like this of just falling through the crumble blocks. And eventually she gets- SHIT! She gets the- Oh, wait, wait! Oh! No! She gets no! The, she gets to the point right at the end. Uh. And she gets the- Ah, oh, fuck! Uh, oh, I'm so sad right now. I'm, I'm, I'm a very sad individual. Now, I'm really hoping that episode 8 is not just this room. Otherwise, we're going to have words. <laughs> like, I'll, I'll have to reinstate. I'm glad there's such thing as the uh, cutting room floor. But no, it's fine. We're going to get right now. Like, right here, right now. I, th I think I'm... I'm tr <laughs> See? Even with the blunder. Go through, and then you just keep doing. Oh my God! Nisko Dama strikes again. You cannot stop me from predicting the future. I think I was poisoned by Flappy Bird, <laughs> and now I think I have to take deliberate jumps in my space jumping when I don't really need to do that. Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird. I mean, I, got, I did pretty okay in Flappy. I got like up to 64 points, I think. I never got to play it. I would have dominated Flappy Bird. All you kids out there with your Flappy Bird, I would have dominated it. Now we've got Fortnite. Ah, you know what? I don't know which is worse. Actually, you know, Fortnite has a designated fan base and is just played by kids. Flappy Bird was actively annoying. Yeah, no, I mean, we're even though it's rated T, it's for kids. And even though this is rated E, this is for adults. It's the deep lore. Does Fortnite have lore? Actually, I don't think so. How can, uh, how can there be uh, lore? There's no lore that exists that can uh, combine Street Fighter, Rick and Morty, and uh, Star Wars, and Marvel. Uh, Fuck! <laughs> oh, I thought you were saying that in response to me going, uh. What, there is lore? Oh, yeah. What, just time rift? Tent now pay money so you can buy it? A little something like that. But they at least keep it interesting. It's not for me. They got cinematics and everything. It's not for me. They've got Dwayne the Rock Johnson. What about Dwayne's Johnson? 
He, it rocks. Hey, you, you know what else has Dwayne, Dwayne the Rock Johnson? Doom! Movies. Oh. That's where I watch Dwayne the Rock Johnson. I don't play video games with Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Spy Hunter sucked! <laughs> So we got two things here. We got oh. one specific high speed oh, one over that. here. Oh wait, that actually isn't that bad. That's yeah, it's, it's, over. Just, it's just one of these. Now the real problem is this one. This is a really mean one. You're gonna be running a lot, aren't you? Okay, right over here. On the shine spark. Oh, oh well. Yeah, well, in a manner of speaking. Just gotta get the get the pattern right. You gotta shine spark, hit the angle, keep running, keep shine hit spark, another angle, hit the angle, go through keep those. Keep running. Uh, duck. Keep it going. Hit the angle. Keep running. Duck. Hit the angle. Keep running. Duck. Hit the angle. Keep running. Good. Duck. Jeez. Hit the angle. Then there's a. Whoop. Oh, oh, why? What a bunch of bull. Uh, well, at least I like the color palette of the shine spark, so. You gotta keep shine sparking so you can hit the angle to keep running to shine spark to hit the angle. Gotta shine spark to keep running, hit the angle. You put the shine in the sparking nut and drink it all up. The spark nut. <laughs> That's my new power up here in Metroid. You've obtained the spark nut. You get the shine in the coconut and spark it all up. You put the shine in the coconut and spark it all up. Get the shine. Wait. Shine in the sparkin' nut. You know, I can always tell... Hmm. How yes? Should I, how should I say this? Go ahead. I can always tell when you hesitate. Attack my character, go on. Oh, I'm not gonna attack your character, I'm attacking you. Attack me directly, then. <laughs> attack my life points, why don't you? Yes! I got UDJ to make a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, I wanna bet! I did that for you. Yes! And boom. like a true friend, just for go. a power just bomb for tank. A power bomb tank. <laughs> you see, you see how we did that, right? When I, uh, right when I, huh? that's because that was the power of the cards or some bullshit. Part of the cards. Part of the cards. What's, what, what, what the fuck? Get ever. it right, you pleb. So, so if I like shuffle the cards and like you know kind of do some shady things while I'm shuffling, is that the heart of the cards? It's kind of one of those things where if you believe in four leaf clovers, you'll believe in heart of the cards. So what happens when I bet my entire house on a on a game of cards and I lose it? Well, then you just get sent to the fucking Shadow Realm, dude. Did I just not believe in the Heart of Cards? It sounds like a cult. Mmm. It's more of a concept. What's he called himself? The King of Games? Yeah, no, this is some Jonestown bullshit. He was gifted the title. Drink the wine of games and become <laughs> a wonderful duel master! Yeah, no, I- no, no, I'm just gonna go play Euchre, okay? Un unlock the- <laughs> did you say Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> I said Euchre! Wow, let's play Yu-Gi-Oh, dude! I, I fucking hate Euchre. <laughs> I do too. There's a group of friends that played Euchre all the time at lunch. I was no longer their friends. Well, that's what happened, like, in the old job I worked at, during the winter, since nothing was happening, they had Euchre Sundays. Uh... And since I was the only employee there on Sundays, because, you know, it's not busy at all, it was maddening. It's like the lamest fucking car game. Actually, did I tell you about the psychopath that used to come to Euchre Sundays? I never went to you for some days. Well, no, like, besides you. Ah, hey, besides you. Anyway. No, you're one of the good ones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> high praise. <laughs> well, one of the uh, psychopaths that would, like, you know, ask you who your favorite cat is before killing you or something like that. Uh, but no, she For the record, what is your favorite? My favorite cat yeah. is the one I have right now. Oh. He's my buddy. Oh. Uh, yeah, she had a bad habit of asking very, very personal questions and feeling no remorse over it. <laughs> Jesus, really? So there must have been something in there not working correctly. You know, maybe, I hate to say a screw loose, but that's actually what it felt like. She was, like, this close, and yeah, you know, I've got my fingers together as close as they can. She was that close to asking uh, some of the people who were there, uh, so what's it like being gay? To which I had to go, you did not just go in that direction. <laughs> and, uh, also... What's it like being gay? Or, more promptly, when I would describe it, how do you gay? <laughs> what are you gay? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that was one of the bad situations. Another bad situation came about where, uh, and she was a one-drink Nancy. So, uh, you know, give her one glass of wine and all of a sudden she's speaking in tongues and <laughs> asking you your most personal questions. 
Uh, there was one time where she, like, kept telling the servers and me that we were doing a fantastic job, but would come back immediately in kind of, in kind of like, bipolar fashion, saying, why are you telling me to leave? I was like, oh my lord. All right, call on the boss. Oh, Get down here. here. Time to shine, Spock, with the best Well, of she me. sounds like a nightmare. I, I feel like if she would ask me a personal question like that, I'd probably ask her one, too. Well, there was, uh, there were some other situations where, uh, her husband did not want anything to eat that night. So she asked me 17 times, I counted, to ask him what he wanted. Yes. It was very obnoxious. I found out she just came back from Florida when I quit. Mm -hmm. Dodge a rocket there. A diffusion rocket. Yeah. Could these technically be called rockets? Or are they too small? Well, maybe because they're intended use, they're missiles. Have a rocket design, perhaps? I don't know, I could still shoot a rocket and hit something like a missile. It's over here. Yeah, down in this corner. Is there really something here? Oh, I'll be damned! Oh, it's a, still a lot of birdie hot, okay. This is, uh... A potentially tricky, uh, puzzle. If you, as long as you remember just to go up here and then it's easy. That's one thing I don't like. Being able to go through the background, because there really is no indicators. It's, at least, at least just, that I can see. It's just guesswork. I don't it, like guesswork. And they can be mean about it, but that's okay. Because then you learn and then you know and you can plan ahead. Metroid, Metroid. <laughs> Make plan... <laughs> Hold on. Uh, if you know, then you know, then you plan ahead. Metroid, Metroid. Well, now we have to come up with a comeback single. Metroid, so, Metroid, Metroid. So what kind of back? So what kind of comeback single do we do? Do we uh, try and do a new style that doesn't work absolutely, or do we try to just you know go on the original? See, we're one of the rare ones where we sample ourselves. So it still has Metroid, Metroid, but it has like the background of Metroid Fusion, Metroid Fusion. Coolest lady, Samus, Samus. Metroid Fusion. <laughs> yeah, we, you know, style it up, change it up. Everybody loves a lady, Samus, Eric. Pouty Hunter, awesome, Samus, Eric. <laughs> Two more E tanks, Metroid Fusion. You've heard the the uh, comeback single for uh, the guy who did Kung Fu Fighting, right? No. There, there's, there's two ways to come back, you know, to stop from being a one-hit wonder. Everybody was come. Oh, you basically have to change your entire paradigm. He basically, he didn't do that. <laughs> He's got a song called Dance the Kung Fu. Oh. <laughs> Just back up here. Whoa, and power bomb right there. Everybody was learning Aikido. Being a defensive fighter, yeah. Everybody learned Taekwondo, yeah! They learned Korean martial arts, yeah! It was still a little bit frightening! We skipped something, didn't we? No. Missile pack? No. Missile, missile. We didn't missile any missile. Missile, slow down though, there we go. Gotta slow down a little bit. Missile, missile. Shooting all these monsters. Missile, missile. Oh, we made one giant loop. We did. Cool. All right, where to next? Uh, good question. We're done with the desert. <clears throat> Metroid, Metroid. Just kind of cleaning through some things here. I know the enemies are getting stronger, but the fact that our new super ultra power beam isn't killing them and we have to rely on missiles kind of annoys me. Doesn't it fill you with dread? I don't get it. It doesn't to me, because it fills me with fusion. UDJ, you need to wake up. Metroid Dread was cancelled. Oh no! You need to wake up. Oh Metroid no! Metroid Dread was never a thing, and it never will be. God, imagine waking up in that timeline where Metroid Dread didn't exist. Hey, I've, I've lived in that timeline for a long time, my friend. Well, you're still in the best timeline because it actually came out. Yeah. It was I, fucking cool. Yeah, but I live in the timeline from 2007 to 2000, you know, 
2021, where it didn't for a long time. You know, 2007, where, you know, Metroid Dread has been hinted at, so I hope the next 2D Metroid, and then you see that message in Metroid Prime 3 that says, Oh, Project Dread's almost done! And you're like, oh, that's it, and then it just never happened! And then we get Metroid Other M, and it's like, oh, that'll tide you up for a while, right? Oh, you don't want that. You want, you want, uh, Federation Force, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, uh, well, uh... So, are you telling me we got two Samus games in a row with no Samus in it? Because, let's be honest, Other M wasn't Samus. No, it, 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 it has to be canon. It, it is it is officially canon, thanks to Dread. Not in my headspace! Uh, nope, it, it, it is. But we'll always have Prime. Yeah, I, I am literally just denying myself so hard when it comes to Other M. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, that wasn't how it really happened. Like, it kind of happened like that, but this is just some drunken frat boy, you know, from the group, relaying what happened. I would kind of love it if I became another M apologist. I really need to play it to see if I can actually, first of all, get through it. Because I did try it once, and I stopped. It's a Ninja Gaiden game. That's probably why I'd be the apologist. I like Ninja Gaiden. See what's cool about the Metroid game here? You know, when you, when you get enough powers eventually, you can go through all these areas and just carve through enemies. You can have all these things, and you can go through everything. It's like, oh, I can go here now and get this cool thing, and I can go through here and get this cool thing. I can go through here, and no, oh, that's the next story thing. I can even defeat that enemy now, and I can go over here. So that's how it's supposed to open up. You don't get that in other M because you don't get health or missiles whenever you kill things. So they're just you don't really need to, to shoot anything. It's it's just go go here, and get a missile. Go there, get a missile. Now just you know walk over here and do a thing. It's just. Huh. I will say the most obnoxious thing when I heard about it was not being able to use your powers because somebody told you no. That part just aggravates it, it me. Is, it is nonsense. Absolute nonsense. I can, and I can understand, I will, I will buy that Samus sees Adam Malkovich as a father figure to a point. By the way, center? The, what? Center. And then left, right. What? Are we setting up a shine spark? And then center. Was that told to us? Nope. But if you get it wrong, it'll create a uh, vertical one that'll block your path. But that is just enough to get a shine spark. Wow. Well, when done correctly. When done correctly, yes. Yeah. yeah, I can buy that Samus, you know, trust Adam Malkovich entirely and sees him as a father figure and was really important in her, in her development. I get that. But I will burn for him because he said not to use my various suit in the place that is burning on fire and, and, and no. No. I forgot you had to do the shine spark again to go back. <laughs> That's what happens when you mess it up. Oh, well. How exact do you have to be? That last one can be pretty exact. Go. Ah, uh, not enough. It's not enough. It's just not enough. God damn it! Ah. <sighs> I it's like I just pick up and then I just I, I, I run out. Uh. Anyway. But yes, other M is indeed a uh, Ninja Gaiden game. I'm down for that. Yep. Oh, shine spark. If you don't believe me, think about the finishing moves that she has. That's I... A, I wouldn't know. That's a Ryu Hayabusa thing. Whenever an enemy is weak, you can just, like, jump on it and she does, like, this finishing move to it. Nice. That's totally what Ryu Hayabusa does. Nice. Open the door. Yeah, open the door. So I can Thank just you. do that. Well, I can just do this. There. I mean, if I can Izuna drop Ridley, that would be hysterical. I know I can't in Other M, but that would still be really funny. I think he does to you, though. <laughs> Wait a minute, my worst enemy can do that to me? Oh, your worst enemy is a little is a little cute little creature, too. Oh. A there's, what, a there's, this, there's this little white, you know, furry chocobo-looking little, little tiny thing. He's got, like, sharp teeth, and that's apparently Baby Ridley. <laughs> yeah, you're laughing. 
<laughs> oh god, no! I'm, gl I'm glad you think it's so fucking funny. It's hilarious! I, I thought it was absolute sacrilege. Yeah, let's try and spark through here, and then through here, and then here's a fun Whoa! little couple of things. Huh? So. There's our uh, high speed marks all throughout here, about right here. So we need to get to in order to get that power bomb. So then you bomb over here. Okay. There's another thing in there, but that's a that's a separate thing entirely. So first things first, build up speed here. And then drop down. Start here, I think maybe about like right. Oh, nope. Low speed again. Yeah. All right, just gotta get it right. Line it up, just good. Okay, here. I think right here. Yeah. Oh, nice. That is beautiful. All right, now for the second one, which is a bit more complicated. This is high-speed uh, blocks, all of it. So if you get too fast, you'll you'll bust through. So what do you do? So you build up speed here. Uh huh. Do you have to hit the icy? Hold the shine spark. You're yep. good at that. That's, that's always my downfall when I have to jump with the shine spark. It's like I don't know the exact science. Mm, so do no. that! Over here. Then over there, and then you jump. So you gotta do it a couple Oh, of hit the yeah, top? Yeah, do it just right. That that top is high speed blocks. Okay. Like that. Nice! I didn't even know you could do that. Oh, we have all the E-Tanks. Yep. All the E-Tanks! Oh, wow. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy talking about Metroid Other End, the best game. I think we got one more uh, missile pack left, perhaps, I'm seeing that right, not sure. So, 250 missiles and... I think we got just two or three more bombs left. 48? Or have we not gotten fully stocked? In we're, we're, not, we're not fully stocked, we used some power bombs here okay. and there. There's another one up there. I saw the oh shit, god damn it. Yeah. We, we, we might be okay. I think I can still get up there. Somebody, maybe. Let's see. Please? Uh, maybe I could. Hey, oh, that yeah. unlocks that, but not what I'm expecting. What about the next room? I know we can get back up. Got it. Can I please get up there? Oh, uh, here we go. Oh, that's very handy. There we go. Oh. And then I'd get... Yeah. More shine sparking? So come in here. Just... Ow, fucking... Guys, go through here? Aha! Oh my god. We gotta do this just right. And Time to jump up. and hop! There we go. Just a little skip and a hop. Hop, skip and a jump away. Wait, was there nothing else in that room up above? Nope, that was it. Okay. All right. We're done now. There's a couple of things left to get, but we can get them on the way to finish the game. Because that's what we're going to do next time on Metroid Fusion. Amazing. We got all the items that we really need to get, and that's just just not much. I mean, we got to... I'm sure HQ is furious with us. Just They've been absolutely. trying to call us for hours, but we were too busy running around everywhere. I'm just trying to get what I can before you guys fuck this up even more. So... See you next time.